Hi, it's Preston DeGuys here, and in this video, I'm going to take you through the process of configuring the DR backup and installing the license in PowerProtect Data Manager, which are the two tasks that you'll usually do when you first deploy PPDM within your environment. In previous videos, I showed the OVA deployment for PPDM and the initial setup process. Now that the setup has been completed, we're at the login prompt for PPDM and we can log in with the admin account using the password chosen during the initial setup. When you first log in, PPDM presents you with a getting started page to take you through the standard next steps. I'm going to skip the support details because this is just a lab system and jump straight to the configuration of the disaster recovery backup for PPDM. PPDM performs regular disaster recovery backups to a data domain system via an NFS mount point. There are details regarding the configuration of the NFS M tree in the documentation, but you can also click the show link as seen here for instructions. I've already set up the M tree and permissions on my DDVE, so I can jump straight into the configuration. Here I'm entering the data domain system that I'm going to connect to and the NFS export path that's already been set up on the data domain. Once I've done that, I can click save to connect to the data domain. With the DR backups configured and enabled, I can now jump back out to the welcome screen and add a license to my PPDM server. Now PPDM operates in a trial license mode for 90 days after the installation. You can see the amount of time remaining at the top of the screen. Since I've got a PPDM license, I'll go to the gear menu and choose license so I can upload a permanent license to my PPDM server. So there you have it. In this short demo, you've seen how to configure DR backups for the PPDM server and how to add a permanent license. Thanks for watching.